Okay, so let's start building out our app. Now, back in the day, if you're just using Node, in order to create web pages, you had to write all the routing code yourself, and it was just a huge hassle. And these days, we can use something called Express, which is sort of a web framework for, it's good for like static web pages. And our app is gonna be mostly dynamic, but it will have some static parts. So we're gonna use Express for that. So in this video, we're going to download and install Express and start to kind of look at it. So let's head back over to our web browser and let's just type in really quick express.js. Uh, and you can see this express.js.com, the node framework. And this is the website. You can cl click up here on reference, but first notice this is how you install it. So we can leave off this dot dot save or dash dash save flag. We just want this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight this real quick, head back over to our terminal and just paste this in. So this will download and install using the Node Package Manager Express. So that's done. Now if we head back over to Sublime and look at our Package Manager, you can see in dependencies, there's this Express thing in our package JSON lock file. There's all kinds of other stuff because Express requires a lot of other dependencies. And you see this new node module directory that has all of these things that go with Express. You see right here is the actual Express. So that's cool. So, okay, it's installed, but how do we use this? Well, let's take a quick minute here and look at the API reference, just the manual. And in order to start using this, we need these two lines of code. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy these. And we can just paste these to the top of our index.js file. Now, var is okay to create a variable, but it's sort of standard practice to instead use const. So I'm gonna change this to const, just a JavaScript thing. So go ahead and save that. And that's really all we have to do in order to start using Express. This will sort of pull Express into our app, and this will allow us to use it. We're gonna create a variable called app. It's basically an Express instance, right? So, okay, anytime you have a Node app and you want to serve up web pages, you need to run the Node server and you have to tell your app which port to listen on, right? So to do that, we need to kind of define what our port is gonna be. And so I'm gonna create a quick variable called const port and set that equal to process.env.port or, which is two bars, uh, 5,000. So what this is doing is later on, we're gonna push our app up into the cloud for web hosting. And when we do, most web, ho web hosts don't like you to tell it which port to use. They use their own port and their own port systems. And that's usually found in an environmental variable, a process, an environmental process. So what this does is it creates a variable that says, okay, use whatever their port is in their settings or use 5,000. So as far as us on our computers, we'll use 5,000 because we're not using an environmental variable. But if we push it later on, that will allow us to use whatever system our particular web host wants us to use. So that's cool. So that creates the variable. Now we have to actually tell our app to listen on that port. So we just go app.listen. And this app comes from this right here, this app instance that we created. Right, so we're creating an express instance, basically. And we're telling it to listen on port. And normally you would just type port 5000, but instead we've created this variable, so we're gonna type in the variable name. And then we can get fancy and we can put a little message on the console. So console.log, and then, I don't know, server listening on port, and then we can concatenate that port. Right. So whenever our server fires up, in fact, we could save this right now and let's head back over to our terminal and very quickly just type in node index.js. And when we do, it says server listening on port 5000. Very cool. So we can come back over to our web browser and just go to localhost colon 5000. Now we're going to get an error because we haven't set up any routing yet, but at least we see now that our app is running, it's listening on the port port 5000 and uh, Express is in there, it's installed, it's ready to be used. Uh, we just have to set up some routing basically and some web pages to point them to and we'll do that in the next video.